Today I'm be showing you my strategy for getting the correct bonuses that you want on your cards in the shortest amount of time. A bunch of you have been asking me what's the best method, how do you get it on certain cards, so I want to do this video. One thing you're going to need is coins. So every day before doing your mission, you want to sell, whether it be heroic essence, Anything that you can sell that isn't Intel, because Intel can also get you more coins in your mission. And the missions you're going to want to do are the coin missions. If you have the bonus for more coins and you think you can do it, do that. Whenever you don't have a coin mission available... The second one you want to look for is the Artifact Legendary because this will give you a Legendary Blueprint as well as Essences. And if you don't have that, then you're looking for a Legendary Blueprint because you will still need Legendary Blueprints to get your uh, Legendary Moves done, but you won't need that that many you can easily get away with doing every coin mission first, then Artifact Legendary if you don't have that, then Legendary Blueprint if you don't have that. That is the order that you want to do missions for farming the resources you'll need to do all characters. Another tip for those players that want best builds for all characters or basically all characters is to do Iron Man first. Now I have best builds for all the characters. If you want, search on my channel the name of the character plus ultimate difficulty and the build will come up. Now I'm not going to spend too much time on this build. You can search Iron Man Ultimate Difficulty on my channel and you'll see exactly why I say to use this build. But because of how fast this build can get air superiority this build is a very easy build to do because most of these bonuses are easy to get. They're not one of those ones besides Applied Strengthen that you might spend much time to get. And Air Superiority on a Heroic 2 mission with this build, getting it constantly, will end missions fast. Don't worry about not having cards on other characters. Keep drawing those two cards on Iron Man. And what you want to do is for your missions, same principle, you're going for the coins, then artifacts, but you're going to include Iron Man in the team. So you're going to take the mission for the coins or whatever, then you're going to include Iron Man to speed up the mission, and then you will take one more character that you're working on. This is just simply to go through missions fast, especially when you're grinding resources. He is the best character to consistently speed up the time of mission completions. Next we have what difficulty to select when farming coins and resources. So ideally what you want is Heroic 2 if you can handle it or you're going down to Normal. The reason you don't want to do Ultimate 3 is say even if you could handle this. Now this gives you 40% Hero XP but it's going to take you say 50 card plays or 40 card plays to win the mission. You're going to get 20 XP on the heroic 2 but it'll take you more than half the time to beat it so you could beat an heroic 2 in say five minutes but it's going to take you 10 to 15 minutes to beat an ultimate 3 time wise you're beating it much faster now what about that hero xp gain they actually just limited how much character XP or hero XP can be gained on any hero in any one given mission. So while it might take you 40 card plays to beat an ultimate 3, you're only gaining XP on say 20 of those cards. 
Roughly in a Heroic 2, you'll be gaining XP off every card play up until the point of winning the mission or maybe not gaining XP on the last couple card plays. So doing Heroic 2, you're gaining XP on your heroes basically throughout every move, gaining resources in the shortest amount of time. So ideally what you want for farming is Heroic 2, Heroic 1, or Normal. Going higher is only going to increase the time and is more for personal pride and challenge than it is for farming and gaining XP on your heroes. So our next tip is to interrogate whenever possible. So because we're playing on normal to heroic 2 while we're farming, we can easily interrogate every enemy that comes up with the interrogation option. This allows us to get more coins, more resources. Sometimes we get legendary blueprints. Sometimes we get uh, extra artifacts for those characters. Because when we get an artifact from an interrogation, it goes towards the characters that we're currently doing the mission. And obviously, at least one of those characters is a character we're currently working on. Also, we get Intel caches, and when we get Intel caches, we want to save those. So, the time you want to use your Intel cache is, okay, so we got an epic Intel cache, and we're working on Captain Marvel. And Captain Marvel has an epic move that we can't get the right bonus in a method I'm about to show you. So, we're working on Captain Marvel, and... At the moment, we have an epic move for her in our build, but we don't have the ability with our current resources to get the bonus that we want. So you're going to do the Intel Cache on Epic, select Captain Marvel, and do the Hero Op with her. Because when you do the Hero Op on an Epic, you have a very high chance of getting a Star Epic card for that character and the star cards are what you want and I'm going to show you that now and we're going to look for cards that have stars on them so say we were just doing missions with Captain America and now we're looking for a Captain America card we're probably looking for specific cards at this point See how this one has a star at the top left? It already has a bonus. That is the card that we want. Assuming that's still one of the cards that we're looking to get a specific bonus for. So always use your one reroll as well. If Captain America, this was still one of the cards we were looking to get, we would take that. If there's any other cards that have stars that are cards that we're still looking to get a specific bonus on, we would take those. The reason for taking the ones with the stars is the ones with the stars are already set at a specific point in the roll of options for the bonuses. Before you roll any cards, always make sure to save your game so if you don't get the bonuses that you want, you don't waste any resources and you can just reload your game and try new cards. So we have just saved our game and now we are going to locate the card we just acquired. So you will have to note the bonus on cards when you take them from the machine. So we just got this plus one redrawer. We've never tried this card before, so we're going to try it now. Now, for everybody trying this for the first time, you're going to have to go card by card for every plus variant that you have and see how much resources it takes you to get the bonus that you want. If you don't get it on one, reload your game, then go back in, upgrade the next card on the list. We're going to assume we've done all these cards, we didn't get the bonus that we wanted on them, so we're now going to try this plus one redrawer.
Next, you're going to go into the apply ability mods and you're going to locate that plus one redrawer that you just upgraded. So we have 2,700 coins at the moment. I do recommend, especially when starting off, not to spend over 2,000 coins trying to get any specific bonus. So unless you're trying to do only like three characters out of all of them, don't spend over 2,000. I recommend somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 when starting off. So you limit your farming. If you don't get it on one card, try another card for another character that you're working on as well. So we're going to assume that we got the bonus that we want on this one right here, even though this is not what we want. So say we got the bonus that we want. It only cost us uh, at this point, say 500 coins. So 500 coins we're okay with. So at this point, we are immediately going to save the game because we got it really quickly. So save your game. Say it took us 3,000 coins to get it, but we don't want to spend 3,000 coins. Not just yet because we still got many cards we're working on. At that point, you'll reload your game and try the next card. And just to note, do not try any cards that don't have stars twice. So any cards that you got and you just got two copies of a regular version of the card and there's no star or no bonus, you can only try that card once because the bonuses for that are always set. You're always starting at the same point. So there's no point in trying a non-star card twice. You can try it for your character once to see if you get the bonus and how much it will take you. But there is no point in trying it twice. Another thing that I noticed is sometimes cards bonuses change. It seems to be like every X amount of days. And it's not like every couple of days. But as you see here it says night 803 sleep. Now I would probably recommend somewhere trying around like every 10 days. Every 15 days. So like... Every so many days go back and those cards you tried before that you spent 2,000 coins on and didn't even get to the bonus you wanted, try those again. Another tip along the same lines as interrogating everybody, open all the chests, especially if you're playing on one of the lower difficulties while you're farming. Any of the chests that you get for extra resources open them the more resources you have the more likely you are to be able to get your bonuses quickly is when you analyze the coil and you don't get any card that you want for one of those characters what you're going to do is you're going to look for the highest rarity of the resource that you're low in so if we're low in heroic, we'll take the heroic. If we're low in skill, we'll take the skill. Obviously, if you do happen to see anything with a star on it that you're still looking to do, you take that. But that is how you gain your resources. Kind of do this every so often instead of like every mission. Because if you're doing it every mission, then you got to run back over here. It's easier to let a couple cards build up and then go collect it so you know what resource you're low on so if you don't see any star cards you can pick up additional resources for the resource that you're low in besides that those really are the top tips i'm also going to link one video in the first line of the description that you can try out I thought it had gotten patched and I stopped using it and then I got all my cards done using this method. But other people were saying that it still worked for them and nobody was saying it didn't work. So I'm going to leave that method in the top line of the description. You can try it out as well. If it works for you, let me know. If it doesn't work for you, let me know. If many people are reporting that it is patched. I will remove it. So if you don't see that link in the first line of the description, obviously it didn't work anymore and I removed it. But this is 
a great practice for how to get your cards quickly. Keep in mind, this is still going to be a grind, but using these practices, you will be able to get your cards quicker than if you didn't. If you found this video helpful, like, comment, share so others can find it as well. I hope this helped.